So a little while ago, I did a video on the deep devices and um, I just got mine. So let's open it up and see what we got. All right. Now be sure to use your best steak knives for opening. It's very important. I'm not very good at this, obviously. Pretty cool looking box, nice and black. Now let's get this out of here. Oh, that is nice. Mini workstation thing, deep logo. Let's open it up. QR code, setting up your deep device. You don't really need that because you know how to set it up. It's easy. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Got the QR code. Got, oh, I got uh, a coupon for NerdNode, which of course is the parent company of Deep. Uh, looks like stickers. So we got quite a few. We got a normal deep sticker. <laughs> we have one of these silly little things. Uh, one with just the logo. And then, oh, this one looks like it's a, like for your car window or something like that. Pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at this thing. And there we have it, a deep device. Looks like some USB on the front, power, and then a whole bunch of stuff on the back. And that is it. So let's take a look at what else we got in here. Uh, that looks like another, yeah, it's another sticker. Okay, so we got an ethernet cable. HDMI cable, power cable, and then this little thing is actually an expansion card. Uh, we don't need to use that because we're not expanding it right now, but uh, let's uh, keep that safe for later because once in the future when we get expansions for this, we may want to expand it. Let me open this up though. There's the expansion card there. Uh, but like I said, we don't need to use that right now. Let's set that aside. And it looks like we also have got a couple screws, and probably for mounting or something. Uh, a little whatever. An instruction booklet. And that is it. All right, so let's get this thing plugged in. So turn it around to the back. You can see this LAN port is the one that we want to use. So grab the Ethernet cable, plug it in. And then of course we'll plug the other end into our uh, router. Um, and then power goes in here. And then a typical power brick thing of a bobber. And now we're all set to get it plugged in. All right. So here I have it all connected and just need to plug it in. And we've got our power light. So that's really all we need to do. Our deep device is up and running. But there is one more optional step that we can do logging into the deep dashboard, but it's not necessary. You can stop as soon as you see the blue light, if you want. To log into the dashboard, we go to dashboard 
www.deep.network. Be sure to remember that there are three E's in deep. So first it's gonna give you a login prompt. Since this is our first time logging in, we want to use the same email address that we used when we purchased the device. It's then going to send a confirmation code to our email. Note that the code will be sent by privy.io, not deep. Here's what the email looks like. Now go ahead and enter your code. And we're in. Right now this dashboard is very rudimentary, but a lot more functionality, including the maximum bandwidth selection, is coming soon. Speaking of the bandwidth, currently, by default, the box is set to use a maximum of 50% of your internet bandwidth. The important part of this dashboard right now is that you see your device as active. And here we see that yes, it is. And that's it. Oh, and that instruction manual that came in the box? You really don't need that at all. The only reason you would ever need it is if you decide to completely wipe your deep device and turn it into just a computer. Have you gotten your deep device yet? If you haven't ordered one yet, there are still some of the founder's devices available. There is a bit of a change though. Rather than having to manually do all the shipping themselves, Deep now has a distribution partner, Helium Deploy. To purchase your Deep device from Helium Deploy, use the link in the description of this video. Remember that even though the devices are currently just on testnet, you will still get credit for having your Deep device online during the testnet phase. You will get your tokens for the testnet phase once mainnet launches in a few months. So be sure to plug the device in as soon as you get yours. For more information on the Deep Network, please be sure to check out the video that I did previously. There's a link to it in the description of this video. I can't wait to see the Deep Network grow as they release new features on the dashboard, implement new partnerships, run tests on the network, and of course, the mainnet launch. Super exciting. Please hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.